Let's add a couple of mounting holes to our printed circuit board. So open up the PCB. And before we place the mounting hole, I would like to remove this copper fill just so that we can see better what we are doing. So copper fill, go up here, right click, remove filled areas in all zone, like that. Okay, let's mount a mounting hole component. Add module, place it around here, uh, list all. And the one we want is one pin. And this is actually a mounting hole. So let's start to edit the mounting hole. One thing you should do is select the type of dimensions you want to work with. So we have preference, general, and here you can choose between inches or millimeters. As I am from Europe, I usually choose millimeters for drill holes because we have a metrics system here. So I will select millimeters. Then press E as in edit. And then if we want a hole for a three millimeter screw, we should add like 3.2 millimeters. And the reason I do that is because if I have a screw that's exactly three millimeters and I have a hole that's three millimeters, those won't fit together. The manufacturer uh, adds through plating in, inside this hole, so it actually become a little bit smaller than the drill size you specify. So let's edit this again. Edit, and let's say the outer diameter of this um, pad size should be like five millimeters. So it's a little bit thicker. And then we can hide this name on the silk screen. Edit, press E, and select invisible. Like that. And we're done with our mounting hole. Now that we are done with this mounting hole, let's place another one over here. Edit, let's see, edit 3.2 and 5 millimeters, and then edit the visibility of the, of the label here, set that to invisible, like that. Uh, let's re-enable the copper fill. So cut the fill, right click here on the border, fill or refill all zones, like that, and we are done.